80,000 Hours, Find a Fulfilling Career That Does Good by Benjamin Todd and the 80,000 Hours team. Narrated by Perrin Walker. Introduction. You'll spend about 80,000 hours working in your career. 40 hours a week, 50 weeks a year, for 40 years. So how to spend that time is one of the most important decisions that you'll ever make. Choose wisely, and you will not only have a more rewarding and interesting life, you'll also be able to help solve some of the world's most pressing problems. But how should you choose? Back in 2011, we were students at Oxford in the UK. We wanted to figure out how we could do work we love while having a positive impact. We wondered, should we work at a non-profit, go to grad school, try to earn high salaries and give back through philanthropy, give up and go meditate in a cave, or something else entirely? Most career guides we read were about how to land different jobs, but few gave advice on what jobs to aim for in the first place. Most people we knew didn't even use formal career advice, relying instead on conversations with friends. As for doing good with your career, people suggested things like medicine, social work, teaching, or, most thrillingly, working in corporate social responsibility. But valuable as these careers are, we felt like there might be even higher impact options out there. For instance, we recognised that some of the highest impact people in history came from different fields. Martin Luther King Jr. was a pastor who shaped the US civil rights movement. Marie Curie was a scientist who pioneered life-saving medical technologies through her research into radioactivity. Since founding 80,000 Hours, our team has spoken to hundreds of experts, spent hundreds of hours reading the relevant literature, and conducted our own analyses of the many job options available. We still have a lot to learn, these questions are difficult to settle, and we've made some mistakes, but we don't think anyone else has spent as long researching these topics as we have. Among the things we've learned, if you want a satisfying career, follow your passion can be misleading advice. You might be able to do more good as a bureaucrat than a charity worker. And many conventional approaches to making the world a better place don't actually work. We've also come up with more research-backed and hopefully better ways to approach age-old questions like how to figure out what you're good at and how to be more successful. One of the most important things we've learned is that if lots of people already work on an issue, the best opportunities to help are more likely to have already been taken. But that means the most common and popular issues to work on, like health and education in rich countries, are precisely not the ones where you can have the biggest impact. Instead, you need to find something more unconventional. At the same time, we found real ways to help with important neglected problems. For instance, by focusing on the world's poorest people, it's really possible to save hundreds of lives, while doing work you enjoy too. We've even found that our generation faces issues that could affect the entire future of civilization, and that relatively few people focus on them. This includes issues such as pandemics even worse than COVID-19, and the creation of smarter-than-human AI, which we've been recommending people work on since 2014. As of today, thousands of people have significantly changed their career plans based on our advice. Some of them are researching ways to prevent the next pandemic. Some are working on neglected areas of government policy. Some are developing groundbreaking technology, and others have used our research to figure out their own paths. How to use this guide. Here's what we'll cover. 1. What makes for a dream job? 2. Can one person make a difference? 3. How to have a real positive impact in any job? 4. How to choose which problems to focus on? 5. What are the world's biggest and most urgent problems? 6. What types of jobs help the most? 7. Which jobs put you in a better position? 8. How to find the right career for you? 9. How to write a career plan? 10. How to get a job? And 11. How our community can help? The first four chapters are about what options to aim for long term. The rest is about how to get there and take action. We designed the guide especially for English speaking students and recent graduates in their 20s, who are lucky enough to have the security and ability to make helping the world an important goal. However, we also have advice about all kinds of career decisions, and many of the core ideas apply to readers of any age or circumstance. At the end, there are also a few more resources some additional articles that further explore our key ideas, summaries of our career reviews and summaries of our top problem area profiles. To get the most out of this guide, we recommend reading each chapter, then doing the exercises that go with each one. If you complete them, you'll have applied the ideas to your own career, and it'll be easy to use our online career template to make your new career plan. Go to 80k.link ncp. When we've delivered this content over an afternoon, often over half the people who attended changed what they had planned to do with their lives. So let's get started. What's the best way you can use your 80,000 hours?